Today I'm going to be showing you how to make simple animal masks using cardboard and paper mache. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a box, like this one. Alright, let's get started. To do this project, you will need a marker, scissors, cardboard, you're going to want to use single ply which just has one layer, a stapler, tape, a brown paper bag, cornstarch, an exacto knife, a piece of elastic, and some paint brushes and paint. To make a fox, you're going to want to start with a shape that looks something like this. This is where your nose is going to go here and this will go around your head and these lines are where you're going to cut into the cardboard once you've traced your pattern. So that's the head shape, you can see my hand for reference and you're going to want an ear, you just need one because you can trace it twice and the nose shape will look something like this. These dotted lines are going to be folding lines and the solid lines are going to be where you're going to cut in. So you can go ahead and try to draw these shapes by hand. Uh, that's how I came up with them. So you can slightly variate them or change them if you want. Or if you want to do exactly these shapes, in the description of the video there will be a link to a PDF where you can download a file so you can print this at home and cut it out. And there will be other animals that I've come up with patterns for there too, so you could try those as well. Now we're going to take our cardboard, uh, it could just be a box you have lying around, and we're going to take our pattern and place it onto the cardboard. Okay, and now we're ready to trace these on. Okay, now you're ready to cut these out. Once you have your shapes cut out, they should look something like this. You're gonna, gonna go ahead and cut in with your scissors on these solid lines that you've drawn in to your cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to start with the headpiece and we're going to begin to mold the cardboard to make it more three dimensional. So you're going to mash it up from multiple directions. I like to fold it over my hand like this, that helps. And just try to make it as flexible as you can so that it's bending in all directions because you're making a three dimensional shape. Now you're going to go ahead to where you've cut in and take these two pieces and push them so that they overlap each other and just pinch them together and you'll see how that starts to make your shape more three dimensional. Get your stapler out. And pinch it and then reach in and staple that together. You can do the other side. And you can see how that's starting to bend it into a more spherical shape. So do your sides, same way.
And you should have a headpiece that's looking a little bit like this now. All right, next we're gonna do the nose. So we're gonna wanna fold along these dotted lines. So we're gonna push up these tabs on the top. And then we're gonna fold along these longer lines. Then you're going to bend the nose down. I find that using a little bit of tape on the nose is a little bit easier. So you're going to fold those together so that those edges are touching and then just connect them with a piece of masking tape. You could put a couple staples in there just to make it a little stronger. And that's your nose. So now we're going to take an ear and do the same thing where we're just bending and molding that cardboard to make it three-dimensional. And then we're going to fold over that cut and pinch it together and you should get a three-dimensional shape like that and put in a couple staples. Same thing with the next ear. Pinch it, staple it. All right, and now you have all your three-dimensional shapes. So next we're gonna be assembling the mask by putting all of these together. I'm gonna start with the ears. So take an ear and place it overlapping just a little bit behind the head where you want the ear to be. And then reach your stapler in and connect it. Take your other ear and put it where you want it. You can make it a little lopsided or have them have them match. It's up to you. I'm gonna make mine match pretty much. All right, then we're gonna take our nose and you're gonna use these tabs that you folded up to connect against the face. So those are gonna be where you're gonna put the staples in. So you can see how that's starting to look like a snout. And you're gonna wanna place it where it looks best to you. And then reach up and staple onto those tabs.
And then get as many staples as you can in there. And what you can't staple, I just like to use some tape to connect. So I'm gonna go around that top part of the nose with some masking tape and fold those tabs down to connect to the face. You wanna have kind of a smooth connection so that when you paper mache this, you won't be able to see that ridge. The next thing we're going to do is cut out our eye holes. If you're doing this with a young child, this would be a good time for the adult to take over for a moment because we're going to be using an X-Acto knife. Use a pencil or a marker, whatever you feel comfortable with, and find where you think your eyes are going to be. You can try the mask on and kind of guess where your eyes are going to match and then draw on where you want those. Something I often do to make the eyes match is I'll cut out the first one and then use that to trace on the other side. So if you have trouble drawing two of the same size shapes like I do, you can go ahead and try that. So yeah, just flip it around and trace it on the other side, or you can just go ahead and draw your second eye, whatever's easier. Okay, and there you go, you have your eye holes cut out. So that's the cardboard base for the paper mache mask, and now we're ready to paper mache. So I've boiled four cups of water in here, and there's a half a cup of lukewarm cool water in here. I'm gonna reach in and take three really full spoonfuls and mix it into this half a cup of cool water. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mix that up. It's gonna be a little chunky, so take your time and make sure you get out all of the chunks so that it makes a smooth paste. You're going to take your hot water and pour it into a craft bowl. And then take the cornstarch paste and you're going to pour it slowly in mixing while you pour. And you should feel the consistency beginning to thicken.
This is quite a bit of paper mache, so if you're only making one mask, you could do a half recipe, but this will definitely be enough for your project. So that's probably really hot, you might want to let it cool, and when it's cooled down a little bit, we're ready to paper mache the mask. So I'm going to get out my brown paper bag and rip it up into some smaller pieces. So you can go ahead and take one of those pieces and dip it into the paper mache. And then you're going to smooth it over the paper bag. You really want to saturate it, so use air on the side of a lot to a little and make sure it's all worked in. And you can even kind of crinkle it up a little bit, sometimes that helps. And then you're going to smooth it onto the mask, trying to avoid big wrinkles. And you want to make sure that you're going over the edges to kind of smooth them into the cardboard. And you're going to go ahead and do that to both the back and the front. Make sure you get around all the edges too. When you're done, it should look something like this. You can see how I've wrapped the paper around all of the edges so you have a smooth finish. And also I've gotten the whole back and the front, which will make your mask a lot stronger than if you just did one side. Also make sure you get around the eye holes. It's another edge you want to make sure you cover. And now it's ready to dry for a couple of hours, so put it someplace out of the way and let it dry. All right, when it's dry, it'll look something like this. You'll feel that it's pretty strong. The paper bags and the cornstarch make a pretty sturdy shape. So you're ready to paint. I ended up painting mine like this, but you can paint yours however you like. And then I took a piece of elastic and fit it to my head and just stapled it on either side. If you're making this for someone else, make sure you measure it to their head um, so that it fits. And now you've got a wearable painted mask. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in trying to make other animal masks, like a bird or a cat or a bear, you can check out the pattern links in the description of the video below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to make a donation, you can do so by visiting the PayPal link in the description. Thanks.